Oh. <laughs> oh, I love this car. What's up you guys, it's Evan here. First of all, thank you for the enormous response for my first video on how to clean your stinky cabin filters or coils in your Tesla Model 3. I really appreciate the feedback and the comments you posted on the uh, YouTube uh, channel and also the Facebook Tesla pages. It, it really helps me out a lot. Anyways guys, I'm heading to a level one charger. Uh, I'm gonna give you a little secret on uh, charging your Tesla at a faster rate, but still at the level one speed. If you guys don't know what level one is, typically level one is at 110 volts uh, output with a 15 to 20 amp output as well. But um, I have an adapter from Tesla and I'm gonna show you guys the difference between a NEMA 5-15 and a NEMA 5-20 here. So if you see this type of outlet at your, your employer or even in your garage, I highly recommend getting this adapter, which I'm gonna show you here in a bit. All right, so we have arrived at our charging station, the level one charging station. These are some of the adapters. Uh, the NEMA 1450, this is a level two charger guys. This will give you 240 volts at typically 30 amps. And then I special ordered this one off the Tesla website, did not come with the car. It's a NEMA 5-20. You notice that uh, plug there is bent horizontally. This can support up to 20 amps and 120 volts. And of course your typical 5-15 plug. Uh, this will take in again 110 volts but only up to 15 amps guys so big difference here we have 20 amps and then we have 15 amps so I'm gonna do the compare and contrast for the uh, 20 amps and 15 amps here and again these just plug right into my adapter and I'm gonna start with my NEMA 5-15 what you find everywhere at every household and it simply plugs into your Tesla adapter it comes with the car Plug it in. Yeah, green lights. It's a good sign. So let's go see what we are getting on a charge. Let me turn the AC off for an accurate reading here. Car recognizes a 12 amp adapter here. It's going to rev up to 12. So we're getting 118 volts. Looks like, and we're getting four miles per hour charge guys so it's telling me it's going to take 17 and a half hours quite a long time to charge the car up to i have it set to 90 percent so four miles an hour i guess is better than nothing but uh still let's go check out the nema 5-20 adapter now green plug it in so now the car recognizes it's a 16 amp adapter let it rev up all right awesome guys so look at the difference here we have 16 amps still around the 110 120 volt input and now we're getting six miles per hour that brought us down to 13 hour charge so if you think about it a typical eight and a half hour nine hour work week you're gonna get what 50 to 60 miles of range I mean if you have this outlet in your garage definitely buy the adapter I think it was like 30 bucks use that get an extra two miles an hour charge per hour see if your employer has any of these outlets as well they could be parked up front on the side my employer actually has one of these NEMA 5-20 outlets so I have an extension cord here and you're wondering what kind of extension cord do I need to get for a NEMA 5-20 here let me pop up in the front And guys, I always have this cord with the car at all times. And this is a heavy outdoor extension cord. It's only 25 feet here, but it's enough for me to plug into the outlet of my job. So here this is the same kind of plug, NEMA 5-20. And we can simply unplug this. I'm gonna plug in this extension cord here. Plug it into the end of my adapter, still the NEMA 5-20. 
and I'll put a link in the description guys for this extension cord because it is wonderful it even lights up at the end still have the green lights and I'll plug in the car in case someone steals your parking spot you can still have this additional I think there's a 50 foot uh, cord on Amazon as well that you can get to extend the the range of the, the car and with the extension cord give the car a minute to recognize the amperage so I think it went down like one or two volts still getting 16 amps now it's teetering on five and six miles per hour but still if you still want to use a 16 amp output this cord has been wonderful for me and treat me very well at work it's helping me out a lot on saving electricity at my house uh, I typically never even charge on my my house to be honest with you but um, that's gonna be a future video on how to actually charge my car for free If you guys are wondering too, like what happens when you find a plug that doesn't support a NEMA 5-20? Well, I do have an adapter, so you don't have to buy two extension cords, a NEMA 5-15 or a NEMA 5-20. You can just buy a NEMA 5-20, and then I got this little adapter as well that supports the NEMA 520 plugs in, and then it outputs to a NEMA 5-15. So you just put this adapter in your front along with your extension cord and it works out pretty well for traveling ease if you're stopping at a hotel, restaurant, whatever you can do to get free gas guys, free electric power, definitely get this uh, extension cord and the adapter for on the go driving. So I'm driving back home guys and uh, I hope now you realize the the difference between 5-15 and the 5-20. In my opinion uh, it's an extra two miles per hour charge helps out drastically for those who don't want to upgrade their garage or their house to a level two charger and spend all kinds of money for an electrician to come out. I <coughs> do not even have a level two charger at my house. I used to live in a condo or apartment complex and there was no way for me to plug in my Tesla whatsoever. So I was going down the street to a, a level two charger at some local business to plug in my car on the weekends. And uh, I would do whatever it takes to plug in my car. And uh, then I found out uh, actually through other YouTube videos that there's other ways to plug in your car through a typical 110, 120 uh, volt plug. And then I went on the Tesla website and found that 5-20 plug. And, Hey, what do you know, six miles per hour, and I work eight and a half hours a day, most people do. You plug it in, eight and a half hours later, you have another 50 miles of range. For most people, you're driving probably less than 40 to 50 miles per day, round trip. So your level one will definitely cover your travel expenses. So guys, I'll put a link in the description for the Tesla adapter the 5-20 adapter. I'm gonna be uh, producing another video on how I charge my car for zero dollars every single day. I typically don't ever plug it in my house. Wherever I can find an outlet, guys. Yes, I can be cheap, but hey, uh, <clears throat> I'll do whatever it takes to help save on my electricity costs, right? If you guys have any questions for me or want me to post any future videos, just let me know down in the comments and I will gladly post a new one for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you found it very informative and you want to see future content like this, it greatly helps out the channel. Again, I'm just getting started with this, but I'm doing my very best to tell you guys that it is feasible driving electric. All right, guys, hope you enjoy. Until next time, take care.